Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. I wanted to quickly show you how to create a Git Ignore file from the template generator in GitLab. A lot of people can't find this. You know, when you create a new project in GitHub, one of the options that comes right away with project creation is the ability to add in the Git Ignore. You actually have to take an extra step inside of GitLab. So we'll call this my Git Ignore example project. So we'll create a quick project, make it public. I always like adding the readme in there. But on this screen in GitHub, on that previous screen in GitHub, there's an option that says, do you want to create a Git Ignore file? Um, we don't have that right away in GitLab, but it's not that difficult. You just have to go in right away after you create your project or any time in the future, actually, which might make this even better than GitHub. You say, I want to create a new file. And one of your options is to create a file from a template. So just select Git Ignore. And then, I don't know, what are you developing in? Uh, hopefully you're developing in Java, because we love Java. Maybe Kotlin, maybe even Groovy. Can I see Groovy there? I don't see Groovy there. OK, well, maybe Java is good enough. But you could type in Java here, and all of a sudden, it's going to generate the appropriate Git Ignore settings for GitLab and a Java project. And of course, you know you don't put compiled code into Git. You don't put packaged applications in Git. So this ignores the class files and the war files and the jar files. And then you can go ahead and commit those changes. So that's how you can get GitLab to create a basic Git Ignore file for you. By the way, if you do want a Git Ignore file generator that does some additional stuff, I always like this one here at Toptal. Just type in here something like Eclipse. So maybe you're doing Java development in Eclipse. This is going to generate a git ignore file for Eclipse. So you can ignore your Eclipse stuff as well. And you can always come over here and then add that in, commit your changes. And there you go. You got a great git ignore file. And if you want to do some custom stuff, well, Bitbucket's actually got a nice little page just for how to set up your own custom configurations for git ignore. As you can imagine, you can do some um, pretty low level exclusions of files or inclusions of files using the syntax. So um, there you go. That gives you an idea of how you can go in and quickly create a git ignore file in GitLab. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on various DevOps tools. I'm the editor in chief over there. If you want to follow my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And then finally, I would suggest that, you know, if you like these quick to the point tutorials, why don't you subscribe on that thing called YouTube?